Hello and welcome, this is S. Rank, and today I'm playing more Armor Core 6, Fires of Rubicon. Let's go ahead and hop in for the day. I think last we left off, we were getting ready to go to a brand new mission. It looked like we we're ready to destroy the ice worm, the central ice field in the unobservable area, destroy the target for the objective, 420,000 coral for the award. Details Destroy the ice worm, a massive weapon deployed by the PCA. Archibus will provide a prototype weapon to ensure a breach of the Ice Worm's coral shielding, shoulder weapon, the Stun Needle Launcher. Listen up, 621. This will be a joint operation led by Balaam and Archibus. The briefing's about to start. I want you to attend. First, some background before we go into detail. The intercorporate ceasefire is now in effect, and we will be carrying out coordinated attacks against the PCA. The targets are the enemy-occupied bases, the heavy warship fleet, and the recently activated... I'll cut to the chase. This is an all-out war against the PCA and theaters across Rubicon. And you all got the short end of the stick. You're here to take on the worst of our dirty work, hunting the beast of the ice field. Sure thing, Chief. Tell you what, I'll watch and let you know how badly that goes for us. Gun 5, you just volunteered yourself for the front line. Moving on, let's talk about how we're going to neutralize the Ice Worm's coral shield. You'll be dealing with a layered barrier made up of a primary and a secondary shield. Archibus will provide the means to break the first layer. State-of-the-art stun needle launcher. Aim for the face, and it will deliver results, I assure you. What about the second layer? Our AD's cooked up just the thing. A neat little toy we call the Overt Rail Cannon. If we divert the spaceport standby power to the ORC, it should hit hard enough, assuming we land the shot. You can leave that to me. I know a thing or two about sharpshooting. I'll oversee operations on the ground. A ragtag crew like this needs leadership. We could use some more suppressive fire. I'll send Chatty. That just leaves the question of who will be taking charge of the stun needle launcher. I know just the volunteer to go poke that beast with a stick. Gun 13, you get all that? Good! Time for another field trip! <laughs> Alright, well this sounds like it's going to be fun. So let's see, I think I've got the needle picked and I've got... Eh, I don't know how the weapons will perform per se, but it looks like we've got two different kinetics and maybe I should get something explosive. So let's modify just a little bit for our left arm at least. Well, actually, that Rancesu is 224, and what does this got to be? 135, so let's put something explody in it instead. And let's see, the impact is higher on that, so I may stick with it. And what else do we have? If there's anything with higher impact, I might go with it. But no, it doesn't look like it. Alright, so don't know how this build will perform. Um, I guess we'll see here soon enough. And. Oh, let's see, we have any expansions? Yeah, we won't go to terminal armor. Just in case. Alright, let's try it out. It's not every day you see competing forces working together like this. Now we're never 621. Hey Unigram, good to see you. Here you go. Commence mission. Michigan will take command. Commencing up. 
like it's gonna be a lot of fun. Crazy. Like it. Looks like she'll not be up again. Oh no. Now I had drones to do it. This thing probably is a good thing to help with that a little bit. Nope. Only got 22 rounds left, so better be careful. Oh. This is gonna get a little unpredictable here. Seems a little too uh, normal. Looks like. Looks like things just took a nasty turn. I'll set the ORC to maximum Ooh. output. We can't afford to lose control of the situation. This oh, this is looking good. Where's he gonna come from now? I gotta get a lock. Oh, missed that one again. Wow. It's tough. There we go. Oh wow. Stay cool, buddy. It's about out of health too. 
crazy. I can survive to get this last few hits on it, but Energy I'm not sure. We'll see. May have to change over to like tank setup. All emergency valves closed. Disabling limiter. 100. 110. Here comes the blast. We're trying. We're trying. I don't think I have anything left. <laughs> there we go. Wow, first try. So I didn't expect that. Alright, nice. That was my first attempt too. I can't believe I beat it with uh, 1 HP there at the end. <laughs> the temporary alliance between the Archibus and Balaam groups turned the tide of war. Devastating the Planetary Closure Administration forces and exiling them from Rubicon. Though it was the Ice Worm mission, led by Balin, that dealt the decisive blow, Archibus, through their own engagements with the PCA, augmented their strength with seized weaponry. The balance of power was broken, the scales tipped in Archibus's favor, and the Rubicon Liberation Front's hopes of fighting an exhausted foe were dashed. With the loss of their common enemy, the rival factions' war for the Coral abruptly reignited. And their bitter conflict burned with renewed intensity. Augmented human, C4621. Entering standard mode. Two new messages. Doing okay, 
I'd wanted to let you rest some more, but the corpse are on the move already. With the PCA gone, it's back to work, getting to where the coral's gathering. Do you remember the survey you carried out at Xylem? My friend analyzed the data and learned about a massive facility under the central ice field. Watch point Alpha. Turns out that the ice worm was defending the entrance to that place. It's time to let ourselves in. Raven, there's something you need to know. That friend Walter mentioned. The comms database has no record of the conversation he just told you about. This isn't about just finding the core, Raven. He's after something more, and he's using you to do it. Here on Rubicon. Registration number RB23. Call sign. Raven, your records have been updated. A-rank virtual encounters are now available in the arena. May these encounters further guide your technique. Okay. Hey, more parts. Okay, let's uh, check out parts real fast and then maybe we'll do some arena missions. Oh, nice, a new linear rifle. Harris. Cool. New machine gun. Let's see. Interesting. Keep going. The handgun, the ducket. That's a really long handgun. Looks like uh, something the Joker would use or something. Uh, let's see. Does look interesting. Really low weight, too, so. Hmm. I'll consider it. Keep going. What else we have? The bazooka, the little gem. <laughs> Decent impact overall, it looks like. And a jamming bomb launcher. Ooh, cool. It makes their locking lock on capabilities worse. Interesting. But no attack power with that. Maybe we'll use that on some enemies that have lots of missiles or something. And then a new laser rifle, too. Nice. And a laser shotgun. That's cool looking, too. Okay. What else do we have? So, let's see. I don't know if this Turner was new or not, but that's where we start off. We'll just keep going. And we've also got this... Uh, chain chin machine gun. I think we had that on the other arm too. Let's keep going. The ducket. Yep. See these. See these. Let's keep going. I think I saw something new at the very top. We'll get back to it. Explosive thrower. That sounds cool. Oh, and you charge it too. Huh. Might try that out. No laser lance. That sounds really cool. Okay. What about back units? Oh yeah, we're getting into the big stuff now. So, pulse shield launcher. And anything that runs into the barriers will suffer major ACS strain. Ah, these are starting to get really interesting. Like, it's more than just a dumb projectile. A diffused laser, laser cannon charge concentrate laser, producing an energy explosion. Spread bazooka. Morley. Oh man, so many cool things to try. A laser turret. That might be fun. I might try that out. Okay. Plasma missile launcher upgrade. Looks like it's just a more powerful version of the other one. And then a new homing laser with two cells. And a split missile launcher with eight. Okay, what else we have? Ah, uh, now we can get the Sun Needle Launcher on the other side too, so that's cool. The diffuse Laser Cannon. 
I don't think anything is new so far other than the needle launcher on the left side. Laser turret sounds really cool. I think I will get one of those. And let's see. Looks like maybe just the one you had, the Veril. Fitted head part, developed by Balaam. High end model is strong performer with a hefty energy footprint. Features an intimidating spider eye design. That's pretty cool. Let's see. Looks like almost everything goes up with just a little bit of a boost drop, scan distance decrease, and I don't know. Everything seems pretty good on this. It is a bit heavier, but I think it would be nice to have. Um, we'll see if we can fit that part on real fast. Looks like it may have pushed me too far, but... I'll take this piece of performance over a new weapon for the moment and we'll uh, swap out to something else here in a bit. So let's try out the Hina and see if we can take out one or two of these A ranks. All right, first up, we got G2 Nile, the deep down AC. Deputy commander of the Red Guns, the Balaam Group AC squad, formerly the commander of the Balaam Security Force, a paramilitary police organization that preceded the formation of the Red Guns. Nile distinguished himself with an exceptionally high arrest rate, and in those days, the only man he never managed to put in handcuffs was Michigan, then the commander of the rival Furlong Armed Fleet. Having failed to arrest the man, he instead settled for a friendly drink with his old nemesis. Alright, let's try it. If I could get a blast with a needle, that'd be pretty cool. Arena Combat Aptitude Evaluation Program, number 7. You have now reached rank A. Subject AC, deep down. Call sign, Gun 2 Nile. Commencing evaluation. Main system, activating combat mode. Alright, let's see. I'm not sure about this one. First A rank, so we'll see if we can get it, and if not, that's okay. Oops, I already got a hit on me. Yeah, they're dodging too fast to uh, get something like the needle let it hit on there, I would imagine. This is going to be too unlikely. But I don't know. That one seemed to hit. Wow. Definitely a lot harder hitting than I expected. Nope, oh, I did get him with one needle. That's kind of cool. This one is very slow moving, so I think that if I just lighten my load a little bit and get something to hit them with constantly, I could do a pretty good job and take them out. Doesn't seem to have very good close range combat either. Shoot, I might just take them out right now. Terminal armor, so. Alright. That's alright for the first A rank. I think I'll switch out the needle for some missiles or something because that looked like it was going to rarely hit. Let's see. And I need something to do a little damage per second to just get something running. How about we'll do a scutter and we'll swap out this Rensetsu for something else how about flamethrower just for fun and I think vertical launcher might be a good idea and we've already got our cool new head attached um, let's see for our back unit I don't think I want to do two sets of missiles but we'll do plasma on the other side okay let's try that because he does seem not great at uh, close range, so I think I could just hit him with the scatter and stuff. And we'll be doing okay. 
I'm gonna lead him over here to this little choke point area. Hopefully. I wonder if I have enough OS chips to install another one. Looks like I have six, so I bet I could get something. Let's see. We've already got all those. We could do some improvements on these other things. Um, I don't know if I care about access speed. I'm not sure about melee, energy, explosive, kinetic. I think kinetic could use a little bit of attention, so let's go ahead and start down that route. We'll give it two boost and let's just use uh, what I've got now for the next guy to go across V2 Snell, Hope and Faith. Deputy Commander of the Vespers Archivist Group's Augmented Human Squad. After receiving Generation 8 augmentation surgery, Snell continued to receive follow-up treatments as new technologies entered the mainstream so as to make their merits his own. Many augmented humans have died in order to ensure the safety of his repeated adjustments. Here we go. Arena Combat Aptitude Evaluation Program. Number 6, Rank A. Subject AC, Open Faith. Call sign, V2 Snail. Evaluation. This makes me think of Megatron or something. Interesting color palette. Main system activating combat mode. Okay, where is he hiding? Oh, I see him now. He has a needle gun of some sort. That's hit hard. Oh, that'll get me there. That was just to uh, make an exciting match. <laughs> He's decent at close range, looks like. But we're gonna try to avoid his tricks. Best we can at least. Here we go. Man, flamethrower and scatter combos uh, serving me well. Target destroyed. Concluding evaluation. Well done. All right. Nice. 
I wonder if the flamethrower counts as energy damage or what. Let's see. We've got five now. We could probably get one or two things. Let's see. Energy. Yeah. How about explosive? Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm not going to like walk one of these all the way up at once. I'm going to do kind of alternating and I'll get energy boosted up twice after I guess two more arena rounds if I can beat these. Oops, I skipped ahead. Chartreuse, Umber Ox, an independent mercenary who arrived on Rubicon around the time that the Coral response was rediscovered. Held to be a member of Branch, a hacktivist collective active in the Rubicon system, Chartreuse is said to have dealt a critical blow to the closure system during the plot to attack Station 31. Branch is made up of a rotating group of four people, and Chartreuse is believed to be the second oldest of the current roster. Okay. Arena Combat Aptitude Evaluation Program, number five, rank A. Subject AC, Umber Ox, call sign Chartreuse. Hmm, might have to switch to a tank build for this one. Commencing it's pretty heavy. Heavy weaponry. Activating combat mode. Oh, it's on that annoying boss level too. I see you, buddy. Gun if we can chew through the shields like this, it's crazy. Yeah, I don't think this one stood a chance. Wow. I think I found a new deadly combo. I need to save this uh, AC. Target destroyed. Concluding evaluation. Well done. I wonder if the final A rank will uh, obliterate me or not, because so far it's been. Uh, Pretty easily weighed in my favor. All right, four more chips. And let's go ahead and save this AC design. The rank A obliterator. Okay, let's go back to the arena. Actually, let's tune up our OS one more time while we're at it. There we go. We'll get energy boosted, and then after the next arena, we'll get the next one. All right, Thumb Dolman, A S T G H I K. I don't know if that's pronounced or just read. <laughs> Father of the RLF, veteran military commander, and founder of the School of Coral Mysticism. As a young man, Dolman was once a dozer vagrant until the fires of Ibis burned the star system. In the fire's aftermath, he developed an ardent belief in symbiosis with the coral. This belief informed the founding ideals of the RLF, ideals that have made martyrs of countless coral warriors. Arena Combat Aptitude Evaluation Program, number four, rank A, final evaluation. Subject AC, a streak. Call sign, Thumb Dolmayan. A streak. Okay. Commencing evaluation. That's interesting name. I never guess that's how you would say that.
Alright. So far, so good. Let's see, he's got some tricks up his sleeve. I like it we're in the simulation room, too. That's cool. Uh, let's get that done. started dodging there at the last uh, second. Starting to have a hard time keeping up with him. Target destroyed. This concludes Sweet. A rank evaluation. Only I can't believe how well this remain. build did. I guess I'm starting to get into uh, some really nice combos. Man, I'm beating them in just a minute. back over here and I think I'm gonna go ahead and do what I was mentioning of we'll just keep working through these I don't think I'm gonna bother with melee weapons right now since I don't use them super often I mean we'll go ahead and do the energy and uh, I don't know maybe I could go ahead and do that but it is only five percent so we'll just stick with what we got um, repair kit optimization I might go ahead and do that because that would be nice to beat more levels without having to uh, restart or struggle too much because I can't heal. Uh, let's see about the part shop because I realized I didn't actually finish going through all the new parts. I got excited with that head attachment and I was out of money anyways. So let's see, is there anything we want to buy right now? VP40S. Um, don't think there was much to this one that got me interested. It just seems like downside compared to whatever it is I have equipped right now. New set of arms, uh, VE46A, heavyweight arms made by Archibus. And let's see, what does this get us? Oh, a fair increase on our shielding with the, the defense, but how much weight does it make us go up by? 11,000, dang. Yeah, I don't know about that. We'll think about it. And then it looks like we got a new pair of legs. Let's see. Hover movement for increased loading capacity. Oh, interesting. I see it. It's almost like a skirt around the like calf area or something. That's interesting. So, a fair bit of increase on some of these things. Let's see. 504,000 though. We need to save up a little bit more money. Total load limit goes up by 22,000. Wow. Um, these might be worth getting. Boost goes down a little bit, but I don't think so horribly to outweigh the benefits. I may save up for that, 504,000, okay. Let's see, what's next? A new booster, 6801. Hmm. This one looks interesting. It is a fair bit lighter. It's only about 500 or so. So, huh. I don't know, maybe that is worth it. Let's keep going. Let's see a new SCS. It looks like it's a really good uh, long range assistant. The quick boost reload goes up a bit. Weight drops down a tiny bit. Okay, maybe if I do a long range build, that'll be worth 
checking out a new generator with energy firearm specialization going up a lot of stuff going down so maybe if I need an energy weapon for a specific mission that'd be good um, I don't really see this one being much worth it that looks like a really situational setup there okay so to me it looks like if I were to get any one thing right now it would probably be this new set of legs because I have a good enough boost quite a few areas and the jump distance drops down significantly that might be something that hurts me the jump height but as long as I'm not on a level where I need to be super nimble like this sounds like maybe it could be better than the tank and look there's a newer tetrapod layout too interesting it's 465 I wonder if it would be worth it compared to the other one um, 6850 and it does have a lot of AP anti-connect defense is 402 so a little bit higher there I really wish that we could I don't think we can do a comparison can we Let's see a play video yeah now that'd be really good for I think cheesing the sea spider level and I don't think we actually we don't get a video on all the legs hmm wish we could see more a5 700 these are a lot lighter I'm just seeing almost nothing but upside to the tetrapod legs um, let's see how about the defense 397 453 Ah, oh, the energy is where it's going to be weak, and the anti-explosive is down. Okay, so this does have higher defense at 504, so I might save up and get those, and I think that I could probably get that in like just another mission. So let's look at what our replays are for something we want to do. Don't think I want to do that one quite yet. And let's see. Pack the old spaceport. Yeah, let's see what else we have. Hmm. I can't remember what that one ended up being like. I don't know. Let me just go ahead and call it a stream here soon. Let's uh let's see what about the new missions though. There's only one. Kind of don't want to kick off the chapter if I'm going to end the stream soon. So let's go look at. I felt like there was like one other thing I needed to do. I've done all the arenas. I have no training left. Could do a replay. Um, I really don't want to go too far back. I wonder if this one I could do better in, or perhaps this one. And this is the sea spider one, I think. I think I could do a little bit better on this one. Why don't we try it? Not positive this is the best build for it, but we'll try. Launcher over here somewhere. Oh, missed it. Let's go 
gonna get this one over here now. This one does have the hard fight at the end of it with the PCA ship and everything, but I think that I'll be able to take it with my new setup here. Doing a pretty good job carving through them all. Okay, let's get ready for these two guys. What are you doing here? Looks like their MTs just got shut them Oh, these guys don't like heat. Look at that. It's remarkable how much damage that's seeing. I think that's some of the most I've had. I have to remember this. Flamethrower is doing a lot better than I thought. Kinds of money. Oops. It spun around there. Let's do our resupply. Get ready for the little mini boss time. Alright, let's see how this goes. I don't know why I think that's going to open every time. Okay, we're just going to avoid the fight against these guys. So hopefully, I don't have to use a repair kit. There we go. Now there comes our savior, the uh, BCA ship. It's identifying as PCA. Take off the sniper first. Let's work our way through. obliterate some, doesn't it? Okay, let's see about the SL. Alright, where did this guy go? 
That might have been a waste. Yep. That's okay, though. Doesn't have to be perfect. This one much more quickly than previous runs. Well, I hope I get at least a rank C. I think I have a D on this right now. That's if I got a D. Oh, an A. What a delight. That's enough money to get those new legs. I think I'll get them and try maybe one quick mission with them. Let's do it. Here we go. All right, now let's try them on. Leg time. Nice. Now let's just go try some kind of shorter mission. Let's do... Hmm. How about just this one? No, it won't be any sort of match, but it'll just be good to uh, see how the legs perform. Just want to see how they handle overall. Ah, do you like the booster? That's cool. Well, it looks like you can get decent air time. It's currently equipped. Yeah, this isn't bad. It is a little bit slower, but I think the increase in uh, defenses is going to be good. Staggered super fast. It's been a while since I've played this one, so it should be super easy compared to how it used to be. Not that this one was ever super hard, still. Here we go. It was only like 30 seconds. Next stream, we'll uh, hang out with these legs for a little bit longer and see how they form in some of the new missions. Okay, nice. All right, I think that brings me to a perfect place to go ahead and call it a day. So we're gonna go ahead and roll credits. Say thanks for watching. It's been Esteric. Follow me on Mastodon, Twitch, and YouTube, and I'll have an upload of today's stream on YouTube soon. Thanks, and have a good one.